On February 6, 2016, Southern Paranormal investigated the old Adams County Jail in Natchez, Mississippi. While compiling our first video in this series from this location, we ran across a couple of things that we found very interesting. We decided to go ahead and put together a short video just to show you these. In this first clip, we're in the gallows on the third floor, where over 200 men lost their lives. As you will see Donald standing in front of the camera, a light anomaly comes from his back and shoots straight to the ceiling. <laughs> Did you just call yourself a dumbass? Yeah. <laughs> We rule this out as any kind of bug or dust orb just by the path it travels, the way it travels, and there's clearly no wings that can be seen. What do you think the origin of this light could be? Unreal. Another thing that we found interesting was down on our world with second floor cell blocks. We heard what sounded like voices coming from the rear of the building. We assumed this to be a deputy that stepped outside to smoke. So we walked to the rear of the building to see if we could see anyone outside. As we walked down the corridor, you can see the camera tilt upward. Now what's interesting about this, we have two cameras sitting there. One's a high definition night vision camera, and the second is a shadow cam. The high definition camera tilts upward. The shadow cam that's there doesn't move, it stays stationary. Now in this location, the floor does not give, it's solid concrete. Another interesting thing to note is that the cameras are front heavy, being if they're loose on the tripod, they will fall forward and not backward, causing the camera to point down toward the floor and not raise up as it does in the clip. As you will notice in this particular footage mm. that we have of a camera where it was on loose the on the tripod. Oh, gosh. Nice. As you can see in this clip, in a side-by-side -side comparison of both cameras, one moves, the other one doesn't. Here's a photo I shot of Donald. In the background, you can see both of the cameras. The one on the left is the one that moves. As you can see, it's standing on concrete with no wires attached. What could have caused this camera to move? <laughs> 